All right, guys, this is day two on our block retaining wall build. And unfortunately today, we're gonna have to go backwards before we go forward. So let me show you what our plan of attack is. All right, first off, let me explain these blocks a little bit. I don't know. So these are poured in our local concrete company and they're poured out of excess concrete that comes back. They don't batch concrete to pour these. And these forms have been used, oh Lord knows how many times. And the forms aren't square. They don't do, always do the best job of filling the form and getting it worked into the form. So the block ends up being irregular. And it ends up being a little bit of an issue when you go to stack them whenever you're trying to do something nice and pretty with them. And in this case, whenever they pour these blocks, this side of the block would be the bottom of the form. This side of the block would be the top of the form. And over time, as the form gets worn, this side ends up being taller, which makes the wall want to end up leaning this way. It says the level as well. Look at the top of that block, how far it's out. Just straight lining it. You stick almost two quarters underneath yeah. that. Yeah. So, what we're going to do to fix that is we're actually going to down stack one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks and we're gonna have to shim it what do we use for shims we're gonna use galvanized washers so we'll down stack that we'll get a couple washers in there and basically go with those washers to get that to, to lean back over the other way so first things first showing what the other end looks like yeah see how it's leaning the wrong way but you don't have that gap yeah. that you had over here so it's crazy how off those things are yeah Thanks. all right Let's down stack. All right, guys, as planned, our plan is going to work. We went ahead and shimmed and reset this one. I don't know if you guys see in the time lapse, we actually turned that around and set it down in there and confirmed it if it's 100% the block, because then it was leaning the other way. One option is to cut all the ends off and flip every block around, slide it up against the house that way. But we're still going to have to shim them, because then they're going to be leaning the other way. And so. you lose your similar appearance on texture. And yeah, they're all textured the same on one side, and they're all textured the same on the other side. So we decide this is the lesser of two evils, is going this route now. I'm sure you, some of you have already commented, and some of you are going to comment. I can't believe you're using those ugly blocks on this wall. And if you guys have been following my channel for a while, I've built several walls using these and some of them have turned out absolutely amazing. They'll come back and either stucco these or they'll put stone facade on them, they'll pour a nice decorative cap on them. And after all that, they still end up with a really nice wall for a very, a very affordable price. So uh, it is it is what it is, guys. It's the best bang for the buck, I guess, at the end of the day. So we got uh, our shim set in there. We're gonna set those blocks back down and uh, see what our wall looks like after that.
Alrighty, somewhere in the time lapse of all that, my battery died. But I don't know if you guys can see, but that wall looks thousand, thousand times better. We probably stacked and down stacked and restacked and reshim five or six times, getting it just the way we want. I don't know if you guys can see our shims sitting in there. I mean, obviously the price of the shims, we end up with a little bit of a, a gap or a crack right here. That is how much those blocks are off. Um, it kind of is what it is, guys. I mean, it'll be up to the homeowner at this point if they want to come in here and grout that. They can definitely grout that structurally. It's perfectly fine. It's all what they want for uh, appearance. So I'll have to have that conversation with the uh, homeowner, see what they want to do. But I know one thing's for sure. I feel a lot better about it. So for now, uh, I don't want to stack this wall any farther because I'm afraid I may need that room to work with the machine. These jobs are so important, guys. I, I've said this a bunch of times on a bunch of different videos. These jobs are so important on how you lay them out, how you stage material, how you place stuff. It makes a huge difference. A lot of that just comes with experience by doing enough of these jobs. You kind of figure out what works, what don't work. Uh, even on this job, I'm questioning myself about having all those blocks way over there, but uh, I'm limited on space and that's the easiest thing to move without making a mess so it seems to be working but uh i'm probably going to tear out so speaking on those terms um what i'm probably going to do is i'm going to tear this out and dig this back to wherever that steps at and we will probably go ahead and stack this and get it done and then i'll dig the step and work the way out that way i'm not taking a chance on damaging that concrete or working over top of that step or trying to straddle it or anything goofy like that and the neighbor over here is uh is more than happy to have us over here working but the property line is like right here and uh which is basically we're going to be digging right up to the property line and i want to be respectful of his property and even though we've got permission to make a little mess over there i, I don't want to do that if we don't have to so uh let's bust out some concrete I finally got my way wiggled back in here. Take this last little bit of wall down. I try to take it down in slow little easy pieces here. I don't want to hit that, hit that garage door. Last thing I want to do is buy a garage door after all this. So I'm back in here far enough now where I can't swing. So I think my only option is I'll uh, kind of notch this out, drag it to me. And once I get it back far enough, I can swing and get it in the truck and then we'll get it loaded. But, Definitely a tight little corner. You guys comment on some jobs how I need a bigger excavator and you comment on other jobs how I need a smaller one. What I like about this 140 is I can usually get by with it in the majority of the situations we're working in. It's not always ideal, but one machine does become pretty universal from time to time. dug out here a little bit we're gonna have to go back in there and clean all that block off that wall like we did on the other side i'm sure it's tied together with a little bit of rebar or something looks like it's coming off okay i guess so far we haven't hit the garage door so that's good let me pull this a little bit back and we'll see what we got i think i found one advantage of working on these tight spots First level entry. There you go. <laughs> it's always about finding the positive things on every opportunity. Okay, I'm going to start digging a hole to get in and out. It makes it really nice. There you go. Mike's running into the bank with Volvo. He was all happy about that ground level entry, but now he's got to notch it. Clayman's back there hauling off a load of I'll just call it shrapnel. There's a little bit of dirt, a little bit of block, a little bit of good stuff. Mike's getting ready to crawl up in here. I'm gonna eyeball him against the house so he can get as close as he can. This side here, we're actually on a corner. Opposed to this side here, we were on a long run of the house. So we're gonna eyeball him, make sure he doesn't hurt the house. He almost hurt the gutter, but we're good. Right there. Don't worry about that pipe. 
There's the foundation drain. That's what we want to connect to and carry out to the curb as well. So we'll retie in this pipe to a new pipe for this downspout. Why both of them together right around in here somewhere. That'll be a solid pipe over top. And then we'll run our perf drain at the bottom all the way out to the curb. So I think we'll be fine. This side's just been full of all kinds of surprises. So here is the latest obstacle we have hit is this footer here oh let me rephrase that the wall on that side was this footer elevation all the way to the house for some reason this one jumps up what six feet before the house yep and then it goes underneath the concrete pad so we're How trying to are you? six four I'm lay not going to lay I'm down not, there and let's I'm see not going to lay down <laughs> So basically what we did is we come in here and cut the concrete. And we're trying to save as much of this as we can. But this little section at the minimum is going to have to come out. So let's see if we can get this footer out here. You ready? I'm ready. That worked pretty nice so far. I can't hear anything you're saying. Nice. So we were only about four inches too far. We had to make a cross cut as well. I think there's a piece of rebar down in there holding us together. Come on, get out of there, you sucker. We got it, and there she goes. I have never in my life seen a tree root like that. It's a tree root right down there. That's a tree root, and it put a hole in the pipe too. Grow, grow right it right there next to it. A tree root was on a mission, man. Mm -hmm. It's a wild looking one. All right, so here's what we got going on. We got we finally got our footer out of there. That went pretty well. Matt's trying to get, we got to kind of fish that pipe around our new wall. That is a goofy looking root, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty wild. Huh. I need to get on the machine and we got to find that footer back here because we're going to have to kind of compact that in with rock to bridge that difference. And then hopefully we can start stacking some pipe and putting a wall in, finally. Out here has been a little bit trickier to dig as far as getting my clearance on there. It's tight on the property line, and I don't want to take any more of those tree roots out, and I have to, so I've actually resorted to turning the thumb around backwards. I'm not turning the thumb around backwards, taking the bucket off, actually using the thumb to kind of shave out that last little bit down there along that edge. Thumb just sucks compared to the other one. We uh, throw you guys outside here. I'll let you get a little look at how that works.
dog out that dog out and ready for ready for a little bit of rock. You guys that know that's out there can't roll those tie offs off. I put those tie offs back in the bank. <laughs> Out of gas. Can you break it off? You close enough? It's just a hair over half, I think so. What are the odds? Pretty good on this job. Hey! Oh, there we go. Anybody's trying to dig a straight line on an offset trench? I know they make machines for that. But it's difficult, but I am very happy with the way that one turned out. I have no complaints, so we're gonna shovel that up a little bit, clean that up with the, with the shovel, and I think we're ready for rock. All right, you ready to see if this thing fits? I am. We got our uh, pipe connected, right like so. We got our gravel down, we got our block notched out. That is, it, that's, a, that's a beautiful cut job right there. That piece of rebar kind of really messed with our notching game. That's some insult to injury, didn't it? <laughs> All right, let's just hope that thing fits on that footer, just yeah. like it was meant to go there. It's going to. I think I might need a few love taps. Well, it's sitting like this too. It's high on the house, low on that end. That far from the footer. Remember your camera is in the pipe. not uh interrupting your snack there am i i found this in your truck you know how old that is it tastes i need really... you i need you for like at least four hours so how long does food poisoning or mold take to effect well, it tastes really old i'm really asking like it how long it definitely does not taste like apple with smoke <laughs> like how long do we have before you get sick just to asking for a friend oh <laughs> we better work fast you better work fast <laughs> All right, check out our. Well, first off, you're not. Uh, over here. What? <laughs> you know how you get a white boy to scale an eight foot wall? You put a skunk on them. <laughs> oh, I smell it. That's hilarious. Check out our fancy notch work there, Captain. That didn't turn out too bad. I'm impressed. What? I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm in, is it weird that I'm impressed? You're impressed? Yeah. But you also know I have incredibly low standards. So. <laughs> All right, so. We got to do 6-6, six, six. that's 12 more feet. Get that course in, we'll throw some rock in, throw some pipe in, you're new here, but you know the deal. You ready? Let's do it. The block party. Not the fun kind of block party, but it's definitely a block party. Spin her around her, bud. Hey, Captain. Yes, sir. They only go together one way. Just step right on. This guy, you guys should come work for this guy sometime. do it himself but I like helping it's just what I like to do
Captain. I'll get both the excavator and the shovel. I yep, no, this. just let me know how much shoveling footage you need and then I'll get it finished <laughs> up for you. Look at him. This is like the first That's video cool. where I bought the Volvo. And the very first time I use it on a job, you're running and I'm down the ditch shoveling. Oh, people didn't like that. <laughs> people did not like that. That's okay. I don't want to run the shovel. How can you deny such skill though? You know? You can't take a natural I born. I spent money on a new shovel. <laughs> you should spend money on this. Does that shovel have zip ties on it? <laughs> oh, yes. It's perfectly safe in most states. <laughs> I saw a meme the other day and it said, how do you get so much done? And it said, mainly OSHA violations. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's true. That is true. All right. Break a little bit of gravel in there. Pull a Congress and give himself a raise. He really should. Man. Apparently, we just we just break it. You guys see how we have it on that side we're matching the same thing on this side i don't know why i'm talking about this i'm the worst narrator i have to do everything in voiceover anyway same thing on that side we're matching it on this side it's gonna be super awesome super exciting super fun it's not super time yet but i am getting hungry don't worry i got it he's got it <laughs> All right, good news, Captain. Yeah. Yesterday, I forgot two things at the shop. Road cones. And you're confident. And leaf blower. Oh, leaf blower. Good news, I remembered both. That's well, That's not true at all. <laughs> I remembered to call you to tell you, you I forgot. You remembered to call me. Yeah. But nevertheless, we have it. That never gets old, I don't know why. This is way easier than the broom we were using yesterday. I feel like I'm on an infomercial because I'm trying to talk over the vacuum. Don't judge me. Got it. Nice, man. Where'd you get that leaf blower? Blake from Texas. Blake from Texas? Well, I got it from Steel, but Blake from Texas sent it to me. Blake from Texas is all right. Yeah, he is. One last time. I just, I just had to, so. I'm done. I'm done. Why does that Blake approve?
All right, Captain, we got two courses set. Uh, we didn't explain, we did end up shimming those. Uh, you weren't here for the first half of the day, but we spent hours shimming that wall. I don't know. And so, how, how much time do we spend on this one? Well, that's because of all my experience from previous. Oh. Well, when the sun was over there and not over here. And that's your opinion, you know, we all have, <laughs> that's your opinion. This is what is using for a camera holder. I don't know, and I think you stole it. I don't know why it's painted blue. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> But before we go any farther, we got our rock in. No, 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 take that back. We got our pipe in, and we're gonna go ahead and put a rock in. Yeah. So, you ready to add some rock? Don't look so enthused. I think it could get any better. It could not get any better. You're a pro, man. He's a pro. You guys wanna do a product test? so happy but it did <laughs> are you trying to see how many comments you can give me yeah man yeah comments are king it's kind of like the Dave Ramsey cash is king for financial advice except in the YouTube world it's comments Comments are king. We'll probably just stick with the rake. Captain, we're moving right along. I'll say that like we're sailing the seven seas or something. <laughs> Captain Joe, that's good, man. That's good. Oh, no, that was bad. All right, so we got a rock in. We got our top load off. We got our shims in place. We've done some. Uh, we got our top what? Load off. Oh, did we? Okay. All right. All right. No, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, you be you. You be you and be proud of. Blown it. off. I would. I would try that. I would try that. <laughs> it's your choice. He's so judgmental. My channel, I'll use whatever language I want to. That's true. <laughs> All right, so after uh, a lot of calculation, head scratching, thinking, measuring, we decide on three shims. This course needs three shims. I like the <laughs> Other applications would be called a washer, but today it's, <laughs> today it's <a> <laughs> All right, we're going to set you guys up here, and we're going to knock these next, next two courses out in record time. Are you ready? I'm ready.
right guys i think that's gonna be a wrap on this one i was really hoping to get this job done in two videos but it looks like it's clearly gonna be three videos at this time we kind of had a decision here to make it was either just go with it and call it good enough or backtrack adjust and make it right slash perfect we didn't get it perfect but we got it darn close and it just kind of is what it is you know all the unexpected trouble with the fitters over here the blocks being as far off as what they were um i'm bummed we're not done but i'm glad we took a step back and did the right thing so anyways it's friday we're gonna call the weekend we got this job site uh pretty much all wrapped up check this out Cleman took the blower got all the stuff blow down the street and uh we got our cones out here nice and protected we're doing good it's beautiful you're no van of white but you'll do Thanks, you gotta show them the most exciting part check that out there this is this, this is why i want two excavators because if the john deere was running right now stay this one would stay put i have promised a small job saturday morning i have no choice but to haul it out of here but the beautiful part is we were using the trailer at least if it wasn't for the trailer i'd have to go all the way back to derby switch trucks come back and get the machine at least now i can take it home with me oh yeah so it's a great trailer even though the 120 is not running it's uh definitely a win well if i make it home then it's a win <laughs> but she fit up on there pretty nice i think she's gonna be all right she don't look shabby at all so that's a wrap on this one tell them don't forget to like subscribe and comment and we'll catch you on the next one I got to, oh, yeah. see you guys on the next one. And like, subscribe, and comment to Captain Clean when you guys know how. <laughs> Later.